Welcome to the Eddie Tunick Show. My name is Eddie Tunick. Today we have a very interesting gentleman that we're going to be interviewing. And before we start, I'd like to welcome everybody, like the actors who are watching this interview throughout the country and the world, to pay close attention. You're going to learn a lot about photography. Headshots are real important, getting you in the door with casting directors, agents, what agents and casting directors look for. So pay close attention. I would like to introduce headshot photographer Douglas Gorenstein, who was recently voted favorite headshot photographer in New York by the readers of Backstage. And Doug is here in Philadelphia doing some headshot sessions with local actors. Doug, welcome to Philadelphia. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. So, how long have you been uh, shooting headshots? I've been shooting headshots now for, uh, for God, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old, for 16 years now. And uh, I've been based in New York for 16 years. Um, I've had a studio in the Garment District now for, uh, for that many years and uh, just working with a lot of actors uh, who are starting out, a lot of actors working um, you know, in film and TV and on Broadway. I was on your website the other night and I was really impressed. You really, hmm. your headshots, I mean, I was looking for one that maybe had a flaw in it. Oh, Every one you. of them was right on the money. What impressed me was I studied each headshot and it seemed that you captured that person's personality hmm. when every one that I looked at, and I studied them very hmm. meticulously. Hmm. Well, let me ask you this, why is it so important to hire a professional photographer? Well, that, that's a great question, and, and uh, you know, one of the things that you just mentioned too about looking at, at the actors' headshots and, and seeing their personalities in there, that makes me feel really great because uh, a headshot should be about the actor and about bringing out their personality, about capturing that in the moment. Um, so nowadays, well, I can back up for a minute. In the old days of film, where you had the expense of film, you had the expense of developing, mm -hmm. you could only shoot you know, a certain amount of images per, per shoot, um, you had a handful of photographers who specialized in doing actors' headshots. Once digital photography came along, anybody could grab a camera and say, oh, I'm a photographer, and they'd put up their shingle and they'd say, you know, okay, I, I can do your headshots. And, people's uncles and brothers and you know whoever had a digital camera would start to shoot because they didn't have the same expenses. So it sort of diluted the, the quality of headshots. So you see a lot more headshots out there nowadays that are just random and, and not so good because they're not being done by people who actually specialize in headshots and that's what they do. So it's really important to hire a headshot photographer who, who can capture you, your real personality, but it's going to make the shot specific to how you're marketable different things you're going to be cast in and also they're going to shoot it so it looks professional um, because if you're not hiring someone professional and you get a shot that just looks um, it looks amateur and you send that in to an agent or you send that into a casting director they're going to go right past it because there's there's 10 million actors out there and um, the people who are presenting themselves professionally who have shots that work um, are the people who are going to get seen not stuff that looks amateurish. Can I bring my picture out for a minute? I'd love to see your picture, yeah. Because, like I said before, I was really impressed looking at these pictures mm -hmm. on your website. It seemed like you captured that great moment when every actress and actor that I looked at. Mm -hmm. And then when I looked at mine, who was taken by, I thought, a pretty good photographer, uh, I'll let you talk about that. Okay. Um, well, let's let's hold it up so uh, so everyone okay. can see it. So there's uh, there's Eddie, and there's Eddie, <laughs> and so the the most important thing with your headshot, like if somebody walks in the door, you have sent in a headshot, the casting director agent calls you in, a director calls you in, and then you walk in the door. When they look at the picture and they look at you walking in, they want to look at you and they want to say, "Yep, same guy." Right. So the first, right. the most important thing is that your headshot looks just like you on a really good day. That's, that's the most important thing. So I'm looking at this headshot here, and I'm saying to myself, well, you know, you know, uh, maybe you know, it's an okay day, but you know, maybe not his best day. The other thing I look at at a headshot is I, I look at it and I say to myself, does it look like an actor shot or does it look like a person? I, I want a person. I want a moment that looks real, that something is actually happening. When, so I, yes? When you say an actor shot and a real person, 
What do you mean an actor shot? Well, an actor shot, if it, if it looks like, you know, it's got like all kinds of crazy mood lighting, you know, or it has, um, you know, you look at the at, at the shot and the person just sort of kind of like looks blank or, or you know, looks all dramatic in, in sort of a phony way, that's actory to me. And I don't want that in a headshot. I want a headshot that captures a real moment that looks like a real person. So everything is so reality based nowadays, you know, from commercials to TV to, you know, to, to everything you see. Yeah. Is that, is that I, want, I want to see a real person in there. I don't want to see someone who's acting. Well, that's great because that probably answers my next question. Mm -hmm. What do agents and casting directors look for in a headshot? Well, that's and great. That's, that's great. And if we could use this as, as an example okay. again, again. So I look at this headshot and I say to myself, who, who is this guy? Um, it's it's me. It's it, it's you, <laughs> but in person, you know. And I, I can tell you in person, you have much more. Uh, you know, you're much yeah, more alive. Yeah. You're much more. I'm animated. not jumping out like your yeah. pictures did to me when I looked at them on the website. Well, so that that's, this is not. That's a great thing from the standpoint of like you you recognizing the difference now. Oh, I see it. Oh, God, I see it. So here you just look kind of blank. Like you're just sort of kind of looking. I don't yeah. know what's going on there. Yeah. Um. The 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 white shirt like is sort of kind of nondescript. And I really, I really don't know what this is saying to me. You know, it's mm -hmm. really just has a lack of affect. I know it. exactly what you're saying. Uh, the lighting is really harsh up here, you mm -hmm. know, on your forehead, um, and it, it's just kind of flat. It's like so what? So casting directors and agents are getting so many shots coming across their desk during during a day that they've, you know, they're only going to stop on a certain amount, especially if they they don't know you as a, a performer. So. I think it's important to think of casting directors. Casting directors are very busy people. And they've got their eye on a very specific um, role that they're casting. And they want a person who's perfect for that part. So I think it's good for actors to have a few different shots that they work with. They capture different sides of their personality. Right. Um, rather than having one shot where they're trying to submit for everything. So if you're the sort of, you're the sort of guy, for instance, like just a meeting, you like you know, I could see you playing like you know, I could see you playing, you know, an edgier you know character, you know, I could see you playing the bad guy, you know, I could see you playing bad guy, I could see you playing you know, uh, the way you're dressed, you could be like a gallery owner, you know, I could see you being you know, um, um, how about you know, James somebody, Dean or Clint Eastwood? Yeah, I hear that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Ray Liotta, right? I get Brad Pitt, you know, Ray Liotta, <laughs> baby, yeah, Ray Liotta. Yeah. So you're gonna Ray, get, I hope you're watching. So you're gonna get a certain amount of like offbeat edge your type of thing. So you're going to want that one shot that captures right. that side of you, you know? But there's other sides to you as well. Like depending on the clothing that you're wearing is going to tell a different story. So if you're somebody who, you know, who can play a different range, then do a different a number of different shots. You might have two, three different shots, something that's more serious, uh, which people would call a legit shot, something where you're more upbeat, smiling, people would call a commercial shot. Now a commercial shot could work for a sitcom, it could work for musical theater. Uh, you know, could work for a TV uh, commercial audition. That way, you've got the power in your hands. Because I've been in in casting directors' offices where where they're casting, let's say, a, a drama, and a really smiling shot comes across their desk, and that's not how the character's been described. They'll go right past it because sure. they're focused on, on sure. that one thing. That puts the power in your hands. Interesting. So that would answer my, my next question: What makes a headshot stand out or get lost in the shuffle? You already answered that. Yeah, the, the other things too is that, you know, a, a headshot has to capture a real moment. Like, I, I, I look at this and I just don't know what's happening behind the eyes. So I say to myself, does it look like the person's expressing an emotion they're really feeling and not and communicating that into the camera? Or are they conveying a real thought into the, into the camera? So when I'm working with actors during a headshot shoot, it's not like we're working like an uh, actor photographer. I, I feel like my job is to be a really good director and say something that's going to help point you in the direction that's going to bring out that laugh, you know, or that's going to, you know, create a moment there that's happening that, that's more serious. But that way, when a viewer looks at it, they say, they get it, they feel it, they feel like something's being said to them. I read something about you when you do a photo shoot, you get to know the person. Mm. You get to yeah. know what their goals are. Yes. You get, because, I guess doing that, you get to know the real person, and yeah. that has a lot to do with how you're going to do your photo session. Yeah, abs absolutely. And, and let me give this back to you. Knowing so their personality, knowing really if, who they are. If this, uh, 
for photography in general, it's, uh, the photography you know, is often about the photographer. And this can't be about me. This has to be about you as the actor. So if I'm photographing you, the more information I have you, on you, you know, it's all grist for the mill. It's all things that I can bring up during the session too. So I might, we might be photographing, and, and you know, I might remember that you told me that your uh, your cousin is Spencer Tunick, the photographer, who does some incredible work and all those, you know, really cool like big nudes or something like that. And we could be shooting. I might say, so you know, imagine Spencer walks into the room. You know, well, that just got a real smile from you in that <laughs> moment. You know. Or, you know, remember, you know, uh, a time when you guys were younger and, you know, Spencer was, like, razzing you. Well, how would you razz him right now as if you were looking? Well, that's crea creating something real, you know, totally real, different, yeah, you, real in the moment. So anything I can remember to bring out. You, you get know? the people to relax. You want relax. People, yeah, you want people Be to natural. feel relaxed and natural. And, and, and in this just, picture, I'm not... It's, I could see it. You look tight. Not, you yeah, look, I look tight. You look, you look tight. I do. And, and the thing, too, is like people come into their photo sessions. And I work with people who are starting out. I work with people who have had you know, long careers and been nominated for Tony Awards or you know, um, um, you know, been on stage or film or TV for years. I can tell you that people are nervous, whether they, they you know, because doing headshots is not something you do every day. Right. So I had a, a Broadway actor once who, who came to the photo shoot session. They they had they've been nominated for like eight Tony Awards. This this person is incredible. They came in the day of the shoot and I opened up the door and they looked like you know their best friend had just been hit by a truck you know and I was like are you all right and the person was like oh I hate getting my headshots done I don't know what to do da, 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 da. so you have to start from someplace and I always think like you know if you're nervous starting out if you're a little tense that's okay like you've got some life going on you know it's just like acting you can't lose it so use it bring that into the moment and then when we're shooting I'm gonna give you so many you know, pieces of direction, you know, um, that are going to help give you a focus that by the end of it, what people usually say is like, oh my God, that was so much easier than they ever expected. But most photographers, they don't have a lot of experience directing actors. So they'll say things like, smile, or be serious, and what do you do with that? You know, that's terrible direction. If the real director gave you that sort of direction, you'd be like, okay, I'm on my own. Well, what you do with it is you draw on the things that you know from your acting. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's communicating to specific people or working with actions, or you could even pretend you're a character in the movie. You're still going to look like you. And then that's if you're working on your own. At the same time, hopefully you have a photographer who, you know, is bouncing things off of you that's helping capture those real moments.